Hi guys, it's your buddy Deceptive here, and I know I haven't done a tank review in a while, but I think you guys deserve to wait, and here it is, the one, the only, the legendary, the creme de la creme, the Chieftain Mark V. Yes guys, just like Jingles, I have finally decided to break down and actually do a review of this tank. Now... Bear in mind the tank commander that I do have inside it is not exactly ideal for the tank's tactics. However, I'm using Maximilian because I need to level up the crew first. Then I plan on swapping him out for someone probably like uh, Victor. Or Philip. I'm probably going to go with Victor. Because Victor's designed, he's a hero that's designed to be more of a slug fighter. So, let's take a look at the actual tank. This is, of course, is the British Chieftain Mark V. Now, some of the things that they've got right on this tank, modeling-wise, it's visually, it's stunning, as you can see. Absolutely stunning. And actually, this tank that they used to model, um, ironically, I, I have a bit of a history with. Um, most notably, the tank that they modeled with was one of the training, training tanks and um, it was reluctantly named the Big Boy. Now, sadly, uh, in 2008, 2009, a lot of the training Mark Fives that were used were relegated to become training target dummies, i.e. to be shot at by other tanks, sadly. And the Big Boy was one of them. But this one that they've got modeled here uh, has a lot of the elements from the big boy and I'll, I'll probably put a picture of the big boy right here For you guys to take a look at so you can pause the video and take a look Similarities is you know the, the stowage the containers the boxes and whatnot I know that obsidian did actually go to several different museums and take Measurements from several different chieftain mark fives and make to make this model now There is a bit of an issue in doing that which is there is a lot of variants of the Chieftain. Now, what you see here is the Chieftain Mark V. The Chieftain Mark V was primarily used for export, as the British used the Mark III, the Mark VI, and the Mark IX. Um, now, one of the things I would like to point out to Obsidian here, and this isn't me knocking Obsidian at all, it's just me pointing out a few things. If you go to the upgrade section, you see the uh, Steel Brew Applique Armor. Now, it, this armor type wasn't applied to the Chieftain Mark V. It was applied to the Chieftain Mark, uh, I believe it was the Mark 10. Yes, the Mark 10. Chieftain Mark 10. So in theory, you're taking a Chieftain Mark V and not giving it and making it a Mark 10, but not giving it the Mark 10 engine and not giving it the Mark 10 ammunition. So. There, 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 there is a big, 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 huge difference in the tank itself between the Mark V to the Mark X. For example, in the Mark VI to IX, uh, upgrades to the suspension, including additional an additional radio set. Uh, the Mark X uh, got the uh, oblique armor, and it also got a reinforced turret ring and a reinforced mantlet to make the mantlet even thicker and even stronger. Um, but I don't think... If you look at, at, at the Steelbrook Replique armor package, it actually reduces the armor by 15% in the, in, in, in the rear of the hull. It actually reduces it at the cost of increasing the turret. So, I don't know where they... I mean, it must be a balancing issue. But that aside, the gun is correct. The Mark 4A and the Mark 4A engine is correct. The Mark 7A engine, I believe, was destined to go into the FV4202. No, uh, 0205, um, which was a bridge-laying variant of the Chieftain um, because it needed the extra oomph to get through the water in order to start laying the bridge lines. Um, the, the Chieftain was also converted into a weapons carrier vehicle. But... Uh, what do I think of the tank? Now, bear in mind, this tank is damn near bone stock. I've only got one retrofit slot unlocked. And I do have the ammunition upgrade. 
as you can see I do have the ammunition upgrade which is the uh, armor piercing fin stabilized discarding saber round and uh, well what can I say the round's good it does tend to over penetrate a lot of the tar lighter targets and some of the lighter uh, uh, lightly armored uh, mainline battle tanks or what would be known as medium tanks that would be uh, for example the T-62s uh, the object 155 the Le Leopolds um, the Sheridans they tend to seriously overmatch and the Hesh ammo basically just doesn't do enough to warrant the eight and a half second reload of course the reload time isn't exactly correct if you get if you if if you come across a very veteran crew of a chieftain mark whatever mark five for example they could easily put a shell in that breach every six six and a half seconds so the eight and a half yeah you have some ballpark again they're trying to balance the tank out so uh what do i actually feel about the tank it 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 feels like a chieftain mark five i know i've driven one so we're going to go into a pve mission real quick and yes i can do a pve hard mission if i choose to which i believe is capturing the refinery uh but we're going to do a medium one which is just to randomly defend areas now right now i'm currently doing pve missions just to unlock uh the retrofits and to level up the crew eventually i'll probably add some more video footage maybe a replay of me actually driving Chieftain Mark V in a PvP mate. And here we are on Operation Ghost Hunter. I believe this is a nighttime mission. So we're gonna have to be very careful. There were there's three of us at, at rank five. And sadly we do have an artillery piece. I, I again this is not to mock Obsidian. This is not to mock uh, 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 NZDL. This isn't to mock anything in general, but artillery seems to be a bit of a hindrance more than a help in PvE mode. Simply because I, I honestly believe that the artillery players don't know what the fudge they're doing. Now, I'm trying not to swear in my videos. I'm trying not to rage as much in my videos. So please bear that in mind. So, letting the video load again. I'm not on an SSD hard drive. So, here we are. So, of course, is it H or J? One of the buttons. There it is. I know one of the buttons. Black Company, look sharp. There it is. Intel suggests the NDAA is heading to a small town outside of a military base. Stop there. I don't let them near the base. Now, I've got a Sabo loaded Black first, company, for and then I'm going to swap out for a Hesh afterwards. Take out those satellite the NPA the so we've got uh, Scorpion and a Sheridan. Notice they're going for the Enemy Sheridans the first. Move, move, move! Again, we overmatched. We either overmatch or we undermatch. We did get spotted. Something's out there taking pot shots. I I do like to mix up my ammo types. See, here did did module damage but no physical damage to the tank. Well correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't physically damaging a module damaging? Thing, right we're getting over pen there again we got some very thirsty players here again apparently damaging tracks all day long Clearly this T-72 doesn't want me to shoot at anything. Moron. So we're gonna... oh. And no, I wasn't ninja in the kill, I was confirming it. Reason being is the uh, 
night it does have a very nasty gun as that T-72 just found out. Now, I don't have the smoke launchers yet. Didn't overpen the artillery. Uh, do you see what I'm saying, guys? The ammo is hit and miss. I overmatched on him. So I'm going to swap out to Squash Head now. We Brits love our squash. Now, I did take a little bit of a beating earlier. Heck, even our artillery's gotten two kills, so I can't can't knock him. This guy does know what he's doing. Again, the tank does really good. We have an uh, enemy Sheridan at our rear. Sheridan is uh, being pushed back. Zoom in on this stingray. Direct hit in his tracks. That should have hit his rear engine. He's immobilized. Okay, so we got some green there. Ooh, good pen, good pen. Again, the ammo tends to be hit and miss. This object 430 is just completely oblivious. Nice. Hit points and module damage. He's dead. So we have a 109. Loading the squash again. Oh, BMD. Again, one of the things I love about this tank is the radio relays. Again, because it had two radios in real life. Plus, you just got to time your shots. Ooh, we got a stingray there. Again, Splash damaged his barrel. Or at least the ammo in the breach. Oh. Hit him in the tracks there. Again, as you can see, Squash is pretty much hit and miss. Surprised that Sheridan hasn't finished him off yet. So he finished him off. Again, I'm not looking at ninja in kills. I'm just trying to support my, my teammates. Now, we've got to be careful here. Because the next series... Uh, is in the town and there's a lot of enemy tanks there and if you're not care oh that T-62 just took well a done. big bloody hit they can't call for reinforcements now there we go he's down loading up my sabos now because we're about to get into the town and do a little bit of, bit of slug fighting and yes I oh. Didn't overmatch that time, so we did, uh, there we go, a fair bit amount of damage. Okay, he's down. Again, I really wish some people would tee up their targets. Yes, I got lit, so that's a, uh, sob it, he's dead. So now, we've got to get moving, we can't stay here, because that poor Sheridan won't stand a chance. I'm letting my, uh, Teammates know I got the move order, so we're moving. I do have my uh, primary AP rounds loaded. Again, the alpha damage for the round for it, this tank's tier is on a little bit of the low side, seeing how the uh, T64 can uh, tend to do a lot more damage, uh, almost four to five hundred alpha. And it is actually a tier lower than this. So, you know, and it's not like the, the guns are light caliber. It's 120 millimeter. So we're going to have to look at uh, turning this tank into a bit of a brawler. Again, got to be careful here. Because some of them do spawn around out here. I personally am just looking to get in find a defensive position. If 
preferably got my my uh, weakest armor out in the breeze. So uh, I'm gonna tuck in the tuck in the rear. I'm gonna turn the turret because we've got friendlies heading that way now. Turret rotation is a little on the slow side. Um, again, you can get skills and crew and whatnot that would uh, change that. That poor C T seventy two seen better days. So we've got a French Pack 90. Or Volvo. Then again, it's a Volvo. Identify target. Hustle, tank. Got no depression there, so I couldn't get a shot off on him. Load our Sabo now. Overpen him, so that's a good thing. Uh, Scorpion, we will overpen him. Identify target. Miss that shot. So we're gonna let the squash load up. out his optics. There we go, finished him off. So we've got a French tank trying to ninja in. We're going to use the traverse of the chassis as well as the turret to get the gun around on target quicker. It's another little trick you're going to have to start learning to do at tier 5 with some main battle tanks. Personal carrier. Ooh, that was a good engine. Multiple systems are down. That was a good shot. Finished him off. Got a BMD-4. It's a uh, Soviet troop transporter. Uh, Cold War era, I believe. With a uh, Object 140. Ooh. Giving our T-72 a bit of a run for his money. He's immobilized. He's going nowhere. T-72 should be able to finish him off. No, looks like I did then. So we're going to switch back to our hash, uh, squash, sorry. Again, we've got 50 seconds to defend it. Marking on a confirmed move order. Again, you've got to be a team player. Notice my uh, reload is now actually under 7 seconds, thanks to... Uh, my crew. Uh, under eight seconds, sorry. Shot rang out. I've been spotted. Some nailed me. It was an M60. Ah, too late. That would have been a nice little tussle. Uh, Chieftain Mark V on an M60. Oh yeah, that would have been fun. So we're going to see the last ending animations of the rockets trying to fire. Missiles disabled. We've prevented a major disaster here today. I'll make sure you are well rewarded for this. Thank you very much. Thank you for the work. We are Bingo Fuel. We're 5x5 five five and we're RTB. We'll have a cold hot dog and a warm beer.
And so, guys, that's the Chieftain Mark V um, in Armored Warfare. What do I think of it? Um, she's beautiful. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. It, it, it's the closest thing you can have next to having sex with two identical Asian twins, pretty much. So, yeah. It's an awesome tank. If you know what you're doing, it's it's just an all-round awesome tank, and I absolutely love it. As we can see, we've got our daily missions done, plus the Chieftain Mark V. Banked almost 4,000 EXP. What can I say? Spotted 17, killed 4, 14. Completed with no friendly losses, which is always good. Did almost 6,000, just over 6,000 damage and change. Of course, T-72s are always going to out-damage you. I mean, you know, just the, the T-72s. And that's the summary breakdown of everything. And what can I say, guys? It's just, it's a beautiful tank. It, it really is. I, I, I just, oh, I, I'm, in, I'm in love. Baby, don't hurt me. You know, don't hurt me no more. I'm just... I genuinely am in love. Now, this is where I am at in a crossroads. I could choose to up the fire rate, or I could choose to up the armor. Now, the ammo literally is hit or miss. You either overpen and do practically no armor, or you hit, do module damage, but no damage. <laughs> so, uh, I'm actually going to go with the uh, uh, pleaked armor. It's pretty expensive, as you can see here. But you know what? It, it's visually worth it. As you can see now, the tank has changed. We've lost our slope points here. They've actually been uh, uh, buffed up a little bit. The tank doesn't gain any new uh, hit points or anything, more any more hit points. But it, frankly, it doesn't matter. You know, it, it really, it really doesn't matter. Um, I, I really am digging this tank. It, it's as you can see. I've already put my. Uh, beta player stickers on it these were for people who bought in to the beta uh, not for those who were just invited but those who were actually bought in to the beta and um, yet usually a sign that she's a keeper along with the favorite tags of course the Zhao being another one of my favorite tanks um, along with the Walker Bulldog uh, most people say why the Walker Bulldog why, why not this and that and that because it's an underdog. Most people don't expect a Walker Bulldog to do much, but in the right hands, a Walker Bulldog can do a lot of damage. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this tank video review. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. If you didn't enjoy it, please give it a thumbs down. Again, it lets me know what you want to see and what you don't want to see on the channel as for content. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this video review like I do with all of them, with a keep your shells fine, keep your enemies down. The Cobra Commander is out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.